All right. Good evening. Welcome to Total Body Sculpt. So let's just start by moving. <laughs> First up, start moving. You can swing the arms. You can step side to side. You can really do whatever you want. Just start moving something. Even if it's just your finger, like whatever you want to do. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. Good. Maybe a little marching in place if you want. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. All right. So as always, we're going to start with our cardio burst, which again, obviously we'll have two options. First option, jumping jacks. Second, single jacks without the jumping aspect. So we'll do 15 seconds on, 10 seconds off. You choose which one you want to do. I will switch between the two choices. All right. Ready, set, and go. Good. We're trying to just get that heart rate up. Keep breathing. Awesome. You got this. Good. Three, two, one. Good. Active a little rest, trying to stay moving in between. We'll start again in three, two, one. Again, either one, you can do your regular or your modified, whatever floats your boat. Yeah. Keep breathing though. Good. Good. You're almost there. Three, two, one. Good. Active rest. We have two more to go. We'll start in three, two, one, go. Good, keep going. Keep breathing. Awesome. Almost there, a few more seconds. Three, two, one. Not a great idea to show me jacks with the hair in your face. Like eating my or while I'm talking. All right, we'll start in three, two, one. Last round. Keep breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Good. Awesome. Almost there. Three, two, one. All right, take a little breather. We're going to grab our dumbbells. Again, you decide what size. And we're going to do either you can stick with your reverse curl, so your palms facing towards you, curling up and slowly down, or you can add the curl and the press overhead. Again, only if this doesn't bother your shoulders. If you want to stick to the reverse curl, or you can alternate between curls and reverse curls and regular bicep curl, you can. Oops, what did I do? The, oh, there we go. Camera went dark for a second. All right, so here we go. Curling up and press overhead. Try to keep the neck relaxed. Again, you can just continue with twice as many reverse curls or switch between bicep curls and reverse curls if this bothers your shoulder. Good, keep breathing. You got this. Deep breath in and out. Good, we're gonna do 12. We got this. Seven. Good. Eight. Nine. Good. Ten. Good. Last two. No rushing through. And twelve. All right. You can put those weights to the side for a moment. And what we're going to do now is the reverse lunge. So as always, feel free to hold on to something. Our feet are together, stepping back into a lunge. Again, you can just step back and step forward. You can go further down, just making sure that front knee doesn't go over your toe. So think down and back. You decide how far down. All right, here we go. Trying to stay as upright as you can. Feel free to hold on. We'll step back and come down into our lunge and step back up. 
keep breathing. If you want to make this more challenging, you can hold a weight. Or if you want more balance, you can hold on to a chair, wall, etc. Good. Four. Just check on that front knee. Make sure it's not going over your toe. Thinking down and back. Good. Six. Seven. Eight. Good. Keep breathing. Good. Last three. Two. And one. Awesome. All right. Give the legs a little shake. We'll switch to the other side. Staying upright with your chest towards the ceiling or at least forward <laughs> and step back and with the other foot. Again, my hands are always doing weird things. So do whatever you want with your hands. Either holding on, keep them together, keep releasing them and clasping them together like me, whatever you want to do. Good, just make sure that front knee isn't going over your toes. That's all I care. Good. And that you don't fall. Good. Six. Keep breathing. Seven. Eight. Nine. Good. Ten. Last two. You got this. Eleven. And twelve. All right. Give the legs a little shake. We'll go back to our reverse curl to optional press. All right. So palms facing towards us, elbows glued, curling up and press overhead, keeping the neck relaxed. Make sure those shoulders don't come up towards your ears. Keep those down and keep on breathing. You got this. Three. Four. Good. Five. Keep going, you got this. No speeding up. Keep at this pace or slower. Good. Seven. Eight. Good, you got this. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Good, and 12, perfect. All right, we'll go back to our reverse lunge. All right, feet together to start and stepping back, check on that knee and knee back up with the foot. Good, again, feel free to either hold on, hold on to a weight or just stay as is. Good, three. Keep breathing, try to keep your chest up and not leaning forward. Good, five, think down and back. Six, seven, good, eight, nine, 10. Good, keep going, you got this, 11. And 12. Awesome. All right. Give those legs a little shake. We'll switch to the other side. Feet together. Step back. Check on the knee. Good. Two. Three. Good. Four. Five. Six. Good, you got this. Seven. Eight. Nine. Good. Ten. Check on that knee, last two. And 12. Good. Give those legs a little shake. We're gonna go into our next cardio burst, which will be the skater. So two options, jumping from side to side, using your arms as momentum or stepping from side to side, also optional arms. I will switch between both versions. 
You choose what feels comfortable. We'll start in three, two, one. Good. Again, just watch out where you're stepping. Make sure I'm not on a slippery floor while you're doing this. Good. Keep breathing. Awesome. You got this. Good. Three, two, one. All right, active rest. Try to keep moving. We'll start again in three, two, one. I will do the modified version. You choose which one you'd like. Jumping or stepping. Try and use those arms if you can. Keep breathing. Good. Three. Two and one. Awesome. Great job. Two to go. We'll start in three, two, and go. Good. Great. You're doing awesome. Good. Keep breathing. A few more seconds. Three. Two, one. All right, take a little breather. One more round. Good, three, two, and go. Good. Keep going. Awesome, three. Two and one. Okay, awesome. So for our next exercise, we're gonna bring our legs about hip distance apart. We're gonna do 12 squats. Again, you decide how far down, just make sure those knees don't go over your toes. Then on the last one, we're gonna hold down at the bottom for 30 seconds. All right, so we'll start. Make sure those knees and toes are facing forward, not coming in towards each other or over your knee and feel free to hold on for this one as well. All right, here we go. One, again, you decide how far you go down. Just pay attention to those knees. Three, four, good, five. Try to squeeze the butt at the top. Six, seven, check on those knees, eight. Nine, 10, 11, and hold. Oh, I almost forgot to hold. Okay, we're holding here for 30 seconds if you can. Make sure those knees are over your toes. I don't want you to be holding in the incorrect position. Okay, keep breathing. Good. Feel that burn in those thighs. You're halfway. Good, keep breathing. Almost there. Three, two, and done. All right, give those legs a little shake. We'll grab our dumbbells again and do a reverse pec squat. So we're gonna have our feet together, slight bend in the knee, hinging at our waist back flat, weight set in front, Head where it feels comfortable. Lifting those arms up, pretend like your shoulder blades could touch and slowly back down. Two, keep going. Three, four. Good, try to keep that back flat. Six, seven, uh, eight. Nine, good, 10, 11, and 12. Awesome, great job. We'll give those arms a little rest. We'll go back to our squat. Again, optional hold. All right, I guess I'll put my hair up now. All right, hip distance apart, toes and knees facing forward. All right, coming down as far as you'd like. Check on the knees, make sure they're not coming in or over and back up. Two, keep 
Keep breathing. Three, four, good, five, six, seven, good, check on those knees, eight, nine, good, ten, eleven, and hold. Keep breathing. Make sure those knees aren't over the toes. Good. You got this. Good. Halfway. Good job. You got it. A few more seconds. You have three, two, and one. All right, give those legs a shake. We'll go back to the reverse curl and then we can just have one more cardio burst before our little break. All right, so feet together, little bend in the knee, hinging up the waist, back flat, weights out in front, head where it feels comfortable, lifting up, pretend your shoulder blades could touch and slowly back down. Two, three, Four, good, five, six, good, keep breathing, seven, eight, nine, good, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right, last cardio burst of the night, and then we'll take a break and head to the floor. Okay, so choice obviously is butt kickers, which doesn't actually have to touch the butt, or side to side hamstring curls. I will switch between both. You decide which one you want. And arms, do whatever you want. I'll probably do something weird. Okay, here we go. Ready? And go. You can move them, you can hold them to your side, which Honestly seems weirder, but whatever you would like, whatever feels less awkward. Yeah, you got this. Keep breathing. Good. Three, two, one. All right, a little active rest. I will do the modified version next. Again, you choose. Ready and go. Good. Keep breathing. We're just trying to keep that heart rate up. Make sure you look where you're stepping so you're not sliding out. Good, keep going. Three, two, and one. Good, halfway done. Then we have a nice break in water break. Well, again, you can take a water break whenever you want, but have an official water break. Three, two, and go. Good, keep going, you got this. Almost there. Good. We have three, two, and one. All right, a little rest. Awesome. Last one in three, two, go. Good, you got this. Last 10 seconds, then we're gonna break. Good. Almost there. Three, two, and one. All right, take a nice little breather, grab some water, and slowly make your way to the floor. So I will meet you down there. I'm gonna grab my pillow and I will meet you down there. Take your time. I'm just gonna grab the pillow. <laughs> All right, so, oops, my camera's not on. All right, so again, take your time, come to the floor. 
not even there yet. So take the time and bring your weights with you. We're gonna lay on our back, possibly. Okay. <laughs> so just take a second, close your eyes, deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. All right, awesome. So we're going to start with a chest press. So we're gonna grab those dumbbells, again, optional dumbbells here. So we're gonna have our weights around our chest height, and then we're gonna press straight up, coming down, just make sure those elbows don't rest on the ground. Keep at least a half a foot between your elbow and the floor. Trying to maintain that pelvic tilt as you do this, we'll start in three, two, go. One, again, not too fast. Focus on that pelvic tilt. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, good, nine. 10, 11, and 12. All right, you can put those to the side for a moment. We are going to switch between that and we're going to do our bicycle for 30 seconds. So again, with this one, the higher you pedal, the hard, easier it'll be. The lower you pedal, the harder it'll be to maintain that pelvic tilt. So you decide what height you want to do. So we'll do 30 seconds. Let me get my timer out here again. All right, we'll start in three, two, one, pelvic tilt and go. Good, keep pedaling. Good. Make sure you keep that lower back flat. Good, you got this. Halfway. Good. Awesome, 10 seconds to go. Check on the pelvic tilt. Good, three, two, and done. All right, little side to side knee real quick. Then we'll go back to our chest press for another round. All right, so grabbing those dumbbells, chest level, press straight up and down. Two. Good. Keep breathing. Focus on that pelvic tilt as well as your chest. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Good. Nine. Ten. 11 and 12. All right, put those weights to the side. We're gonna go back to our bicycle for 30 seconds. Press up down that lower back for a pelvic tilt and we'll start in three, two, and pedaling away. Pretend you're pedaling somewhere really fun, whatever that might be. I think I'm gonna pedal to the beach. All right. Keep going. Awesome. Check on that pelvic tilt. We're halfway there. Good. Oops. All right. Almost there. Good. Three, two, one. All right. Little side to side knees again. All right, we're gonna switch between two more exercises and then we'll do a nice stretch. So let's grab our dumbbells again, wherever they may be. We're gonna hold them right over our chest, arms straight, pelvic tilt. We're gonna send one three fourths of the way over our head and bring it back to meet with the other one. Then we're gonna do the same thing with the other side. So as your arm goes over your head, your pelvic tilt's gonna wanna come out of place, but you're gonna really try hard to keep that pelvic tilt and keep those arms straight. All right, one goes back, meets back up the other, 
then it's the other one's turn. So they shouldn't be moving at the same time. We're going to do 12 on each side. Good. Keep breathing. Check on that pelvic tilt. Even though we're using our arms, we're also working our core here. Good. Four. Good. Five. Six. Good. Keep breathing. Check on that pelvic tilt. Seven. Eight. Good. Keep breathing. Nine. Again, trying not to speed it up. You want to go at this pace or slower. You can always go slower, or do less, but try not to go any faster. Good. Two more. Good. And done. All right. Put those weights to the side. We're going to now do our, we're switching between that. And we're going to do 12 bridges with a 30 second hold at the top. A lot of holding today. All right. So again, you decide how far you go up, trying to squeeze that butt as you reach the top. And we'll start in three, two, go. One. Again, trying to squeeze that butt at the top. Two. Good. Three. If you're having any cramps in the hamstrings, bring your heels closer. Or if it's bothering your knee, bring them further away. Good. Keep going. You got this. Keep squeezing at the top. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Good. Ten. Eleven. Good. We're going to hold on this last one. And twelve. Squeeze that butt at the top, trying to hold as high as you can. You got this. Oops. Why do I keep clicking this? Okay. Here we go. Good. You're ten seconds in. You got this. Keep squeezing. Halfway. Good, 10 more seconds. Good, three, two, and done. All right, we're gonna go back to the weight overhead and then we'll come back to the bridge one more time. We're almost done here. Okay, we're gonna lift those weights, chest height, pelvic tilt, one arm comes back, keep it straight and meets back. Okay, you only have to go about three-fourths of the way back. Just as you feel your lower back starting to pop up, but you're able to stop it from doing that. That's the whole idea of this exercise. Three. Four. Five. Good. Six. Check on that pelvic tilt. Good. Seven. Eight. Nine. Good. Ten. Good, two more, keep breathing, pelvic tilt, 11. And 12. Perfect. All right, awesome, you can put those weights to your side and we're gonna end with the bridge one more time with the hold at the last one if you would like. All right, here we go, ready and go. Squeeze the butt. And lower back down. Two. I didn't get that. Oh. Could you try again? My gosh. My watch thinks I'm talking to it. Nice try. All right. Keep going. Five. 
I must might have messed up the counting here. So if I'm off, feel free to stop before seven. Keep squeezing at the top. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And holding at the top for 30. You got this. Keep holding. Squeeze. Good. Keep breathing again. If anything's hurting or like feel it in your back, come down. But if you're just feeling it in the legs and the butt, keep trying to hold it. 10 more seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I call it Three, two, one. Yay, you did it. Okay, so let's do some stretching. So, uh, I was just blank on what I was going to say, but it's the same thing I always say, but I'm going to still say it again one more time. We're going to do a short routine. Feel free to repeat it or check out our longer stretch video on YouTube, which will be there forever and with all these videos. And just feel free to skip any stretches that do not feel comfortable. That being said, you can open those arms up, look, let both knees fall to the side for a spinal twist. Just trying to make sure you're breathing through all these stretches. So in through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Hold a few more. Keep breathing. All right, slowly moving, bringing those knees to the other side, twisting the other way. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. All right. Onto your back again. We're going to grab those knees and towards our chest, either above the knee or underneath. And a little rocking from side to side. Good. Keep breathing. Oops. I don't know if I disappeared for a second. All right, we're going to let one leg go. Right, keep breathing here. Awesome. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Good. All right, we'll switch those legs out. We'll pull the other side. Deep breath in and out. All right, we'll grab both legs one more time. Little swing from side to side. And we'll put our feet down on the floor and we'll do the piriformis or pretzel stretch. So one leg crossing over the other, either staying there and pushing that leg away from you or grabbing that other leg in towards your chest for a deeper stretch here. We're gonna inhale through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the nose, and out through the mouth. Yeah. All right, slowly letting go of that leg, uncrossing, and we'll move to the other side. Good, in through the nose, and out through the mouth. In through the nose, and out through the mouth. Good. All right, slowly releasing that leg, uncross. We'll straighten our legs out, lift our arms up overhead, stretching our whole body out here. Good, keep breathing. You have no holding your breath. We'll slowly bring our arms to our side. And then we're gonna very slowly and nicely make our way up to standing. No rush, take your time, I will meet you up there. All right, 
So let's see. Okay, if you're not up yet, no worries. Just take your time and join us when you're up. First, we can fix our hair. So we all are rolling around on the ground. All right, so perfect. Okay, so let's start with just rolling those shoulders back. Again, all of these breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. We'll circle those arms forward. Okay, we'll do a big, slow head roll if it feels okay, all the way around. Good, other direction. Good, all right, we're gonna bring those legs apart. Slight bend in the knee, letting our whole body pull forward, releasing any tension from your neck and your back. Grabbing onto those elbows, swaying from side to side. Good. Slowly rolling up. Deep breaths. In and out, bring your arms up behind your back if you can, opening up your chest. Good, deep breath in and out. Once again, opening up your chest, you can grab your hands behind your back if you can. Good, we'll do two more. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in. And out. all right, great job, everyone. Let me 